Good evening everyone. It's Monday evening at nearly seven o'clock. As you can probably tell from all the bike bits on the floor on the toolbox and on the the lack of space, um I've been a bit busy. The um orange German bike is fixed. Um it's got odd sized bottom bracket bearings. Probably because it's not that modern. <laughs> um, which has posed a bit of a problem, but I did get over that with a bit of uh, bodging, shall we say. <laughs> well, not bodging, it's just modern ones fit, but just. It was a bloody push to get them in there. And what I didn't realise was the actual shaft on the um, two-piece crank set I took off the Universal is um, actually bigger in diameter than the one that I took off this. <laughs> so, not much bigger than that, but it is. Um, I don't think there's any salvaging this anyway, to be honest. That's what I meant by two piece. And, uh, this has got the splines on the end for the other side to lock into. Instead of a cotter pin. But I got there in the end. <laughs> right. I've actually um, been experimenting as well. All of those batteries there, double A's and triple A's, are all charged. So I've been using this. And if you notice, one thing I like about this is, when the batteries are charged, the red LEDs switch off and the green ones turn on. Um, these will only charge in a pair as well. I couldn't like, I can't just um, put one in like this, so it won't work. But if I now put another one beside it, it'll charge. So this dinky little charger here is set up so it'll only charge in pairs. Um, which is good, that'll charge double A's, triple A's. It doesn't say if it's for NICAD specific or um, nickel metal hydride specific, but I've um, charged both in there and they're charging fine. I, mean, I can leave that there like that and uh, as soon as I see those lights go green, they're charged. Um, I don't know if these have taken a charge, I'll uh, stick my meter across them later. Uh, I'm going to go outside in a bit as well with a tape measure. I'm going to measure the height of this table. Actually no, I know what's the best option. Because um, I want to build a better table in here, don't I? Well, it looks like either the council office or the citizen's advice, I've got a feeling the citizen's advice to be honest, I don't know, I've been having a bit of a clean out and they've put two, no we can't see them from here, but there's two office desks down there, the big ones. Now I might actually just go down there and salvage the tops, one of them the top is already off of, so I can just, you know, go get it. The other one's still fixed to the desk, but I'm sure if I take a screwdriver out there, I can salvage that one as well. Then I would actually have two tops that I can put in here. It'll mean I'm going to lose probably this bit of space in here. Uh, but that doesn't matter. It's, um... It'll do. Then I can just dismantle that and, uh... If I've got to cut them, then I'll just mark them, take them over to Mum's, and just ask Stepdad to run the saw through them. Uh, but yeah, cause I've got to go downstairs anyway to lock the bikes up. Oh yeah, yeah. Fucking flies are pissing me off. I didn't realise I had a tin of cat food 
on there. We've only like cut the bits of chunks in the bottom of it. But uh, I hadn't realised it was over there, I'd forgotten about it, and of course the flies got to it. And of course, maggotties opened up in it. And not anymore. That tin went straight in the bin and went straight downstairs. I've got to put another bag in there. Right. One of these large boxes I'm going to take downstairs because I need a bigger one for my reflectors. I might take that one down there, actually, just underneath the wheel. That would be the best one to take. Oh. Eh, 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 eh. Rub legs together, that's the best way to scratch. Right. I have a bit of a tidy up in here. I've got the purple one partially together, but the handlebar stem is literally just a couple of mil too um, small in diameter. So, <laughs> so it doesn't lock in place when I do the um, quick release lock up. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to have to find another stem of some sort. I was thinking of making a Franken bike with it, you know, seeing what parts I've got that I could <laughs> put on it just to make it work. <laughs> I've got a BMX back wheel up here, so I could make it single speed. And, um, oddly enough, that BMX wheel fit straight into that universal shopper bike I had. Straight in, I didn't have to do any bending, no nothing, it just slid straight in. Didn't have to change the length of the chain either. The only thing you'd have to do is because that's an aluminium wheel, you'd have to put alloy brake blocks in. So those ones won't grip the rim because they're meant for steel rims. I presume the difference is the compound of the block itself. You know the actual makeup of uh, this bit. But I do have some in another tub for um, alloy rims, so that is a possibility as well. I could just, uh... No, I can't. Bollocks. Because that rim is a little bit too small. It's a... I don't get it. It's a 20-inch rim. But the ones, or well, the 20-inch rims in the other bike, are a slightly different size. Uh, let's just turn the light on. These are the um, ones meant for alloy rims. Well, actually, there's a couple in here that are not, but they shouldn't be in there. I've got put in the wrong box. Oh, yeah. Should be going over to Mum's again sometime this week if we step back and get another pile of wood. Because uh, uh, we start getting the walls boarded up next. Oh, he's already patching. I'll we'll start to patch up the ceiling. It got so water damaged, and we needed to find out where it was leaking. That's why it was there was a big hole in the ceiling. In case you are wondering. Uh, but um, he kept several sheets of ply when he took down what well, what where my room was. Because um, if you look back on some older videos on my channel, there's one where it was divided. The two bedrooms were left at one end, which I used, and stepdad was using the other bit. But we decided the better option was just to knock through all those bedrooms and uh, just have one big workshop, which we did. But he kept the ply from that, so he's been using that ply to patch up the ceiling. Uh, we did take a bit more ceiling down yesterday, probably a bit more than we needed to, but, uh, well, repair-wise, but it meant we could um, hide some lighting cable up in the ceiling out of the way and just tidy it up, which is basically my job with the electrics. I've just got to tidy it all up. Add the sockets where the benches are going down that one side, it's got the red sockets in there. A single one for 
two of his power tools. He doesn't want doubles there. He just wants a single one. So that'll be for that power tool. Specifically for that power tool. And they're going to be mounted high up on the wall. So, um... The leads are out of the way. Uh, and then he's going to, um... We were going to take the electric meter and um, fuse box off the wall, put the boards up, and then put that back on the wall. But we decided him um, the best option is to actually just board around it, and then he's going to box it in, which is a good idea because that'll look a bit bloody tired. It's a nice saw. Uh, but at some point, when I can get over there, I've, over to the fuse box, I mean. I've got to uh, switch power off and just remove the cable, uh, the old cooker cable for the old cooker point, because I took that out. I haven't put the fuse back in because there's no point, it's not being used. But just in case some of you did dob, oh, I haven't used that term for a long while, just in case some dipstick does come along and put the fuse back in, I did take the ends of the cable off. And then there's another cable flailing around, which I presume was connected to a socket at some point. Uh, might take that off. Actually, I could take that off, to be honest. Yeah, it's possible I might take it off. Um, I might, well, I think he does want power outlets down that side, but I might Put a longer cable on from the fuse box. Because we don't want them low down on the floor, we want them sort of that height, I suppose, something like that. Uh, need one for the compressor. The home built shot blasting or sand blasting cabinet he built, we've dismantled that. It got used that once when he was um, restoring that motorbike and was never used since, so there was we just didn't see or he didn't see no point in keeping it, so but he's gonna um cut it down and use it as a shelf rack in the greenhouse. That's the plan for that, so it's not getting wasted. We do a lot of recycling, we do. What are you doing? You're going to knock that friggin' street light over again, aren't you? I've moved it there. Because it was here and he kept jumping up there and knocking the damn thing over. But, but uh, I moved it there and uh, I see him knocking it over there as well. That poor street light. That was the wind. The wind blew that curtain. And I just knocked it about and knocked it over. That won't happen when it's fixed to base plates. Oh, well, that reminds me, speaking of Lego, I still haven't got those circuit boards yet, but I did get me bits. Me bits for me hospital. I think I've got enough. I will need more, but I've got enough for now. I'm feeling... Yeah, if I put them in the hospital there, on the floor, then that one will be pretty much complete floor-wise. I was just missing some of these for around the edge. And this thing, I had this on last night. This is... I'm not sure if it's actually meant to do it or if it's got an intermittent fault, but um, it has got a red LED in it. But it doesn't work all the time. It seems to come on and go off as and when it pleases, but... You know, for a pound off a... Well, I was going to say a car boot sale, but a pound off that sale, I'm not going to complain. I might be able to take it apart and fix it. It might just be a loose connection somewhere. Or something shorting out that shouldn't be. I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway. I'm going to disappear for a bit. And, uh, so I've got some things to do outside. I'm going to go and have a look at those tables. If someone else hasn't already, uh, taken them. I hope not. They were there a little while ago, so... Anyway, I'm going to do that and I'll be back in a little while. Okay, just before I uh, settle down to eat some dinner. Yep. USA fried chicken, got a chicken burger and chips. Um, just, well, just before I forget, 
Um, this charger also tells you when the batteries are charged because the LEDs go off when they're charged. So, it's actually rather warm. I'll let that cool. Just take these out. And it's like almost identical to the other one I got, the um, one with the European prongs on it. I think it near enough is, to be honest. That one's a um, Famart brand, this one. And I've actually got Famart rechargeable batteries. Here, look. A couple of Famart NICADs. Hang on. So, yeah, that pile of rechargeable batteries is all charged, and they've all been charged up since last night. So, between this one and that one over there, because that's actually quite a fast charger. I'm impressed with that so far. Yeah, this is a Famart nickel metal hydride and NICAD battery charger. Oh, I can do NICADs in this one. I didn't read that last night. Oops. I just saw the nickel metal hydride and thought that was it. Model PC10. Yeah, all that bollocks on there. All right, what's this one then? This one does both as well. Let's see if the output to secondary AA two times two point eight volt, hundred and fifty five to one hundred and sixty five milliamp hours. What's this one for two times double A? I presume this is for each side. Oh, 240 to 280 milliamp hours. And this one would actually charge fast. Same design, really, isn't it? But this one has um, apparently got some improvements as well. <laughs> to charge triple A's, you just uh, flick this bit down. It's exactly the same on this one, see? Double A's. Double A's. Yeah, like I said, those LEDs go off when the batteries are charged. And these ones, on this little one here, turn green. So uh, I thought, as I'm using rechargeable batteries quite a lot nowadays, rather than, uh, you know, going out and buying them, um, especially for things that I use a lot of, like my bike lights, especially uh, during autumn and winter, I figured a charger that actually tells me when they're charged would be a good option. Anyway, I'm going to piss off because I'm hungry. So uh, I'll talk to you in a little bit. I've got something else I want to show. Oops. I guess I'll start the video now. I've hit the record button. Oh dear. I just got off the phone to a friend so my ear is a little bit warm. I should swap ears really, should I have it? What was I going to do before I... Oh yeah, that was it. Uh, I think I'll leave them out there for the night. On the count of I've got nowhere to put them in here, but I will just uh, take you to the door and show you. Mm -hmm. I have to be quick because I'm shithead. Yep. Big bits of wood. I could have had the tables if I wanted, but they are taller than these, so I opted just to take the tops because the top was already removed from one anyway, as well as one of the legs. So uh, I just went out there with a screwdriver and took the other bits apart. Took the back panels as well as they're the same length as the tops, near enough. So, with that lot out there, I should be able to make something different on here, to add to the table. Make a bigger table, that's what I mean. Mind you, one of them tabletops is a little bit, might be a little bit wider than the end table, so what I could actually do is just make up my own legs for it and... Uh, 
stick it uh, in here. In fact, I think it's the same depth as these boards I used on here, so I could take these off, put the you know, the top on top with these legs in the middle, obviously, <laughs> and that would be one table. That's one idea, although this is longer. Hmm. And those legs aren't very strong either, so I would either have to reinforce the legs or just build a whole, build a whole new base. That's the easiest option, isn't it? Build a new base on that table. I think I've got enough bits of wood. Um, could reuse some of that there. To do this both the front and back. Just cut some longer bits for the ends. We could do that. And uh, reinforce the six legs because uh, well, those tabletops, they are actually bloody heavy. I'd have never got the tables up here on my own. <sighs> but I figured, you know, they've been dumped outside and dumped by the bins ready to be taken away, so I thought, well, salvage the tops. Pardon me. I wanted something to, uh, you know, make this table better with. Because uh, it's not actually that wide, is it? What annoys me the most is the big gap down the back. That's what annoys me. Ah, oh, for peace sake, now I need to go to the toilet. Alright. Fuck. <sighs> You know, it's a sesame seed stuck in my tooth. <laughs> anyway, that feels better. Probably because I just ate. My body has this habit. I eat, and literally half an hour or so after eating, I've got to go to the toilet. No idea why. You know, you ask my parents, I've always been like that. I was like that as a kid. It's annoying more than anything. Oh. Something I thought of while I was on the throne, and uh, I was like, "Oh, I know, I can tell him that when I put the camera on." And now it's just completely gone. Oh, that was it. You may um, remember a few weeks ago now when I ordered some of my medication. I thought they'd forgotten one of my boxes of glycoside. They hadn't, but that'll teach me to look in the pack when I get it, because that box actually has all four, that one box had all four trays in. Usually, they only put two trays in per one box. Or one box, two trays. Um, so I've been using the M spare ones that I got off my stepdad for no bloody reason. Although, on the plus side, it does mean that when I next um, when it next comes around for me to order Glicoside in a couple of weeks, I'll have two trays already here, so I will technically never run out. So, in theory, because of my piss-poor memory, um, and the fact that sometimes I just lose track of my pills, and I'll think I've got more left when I haven't, I'll go to it and then I'll, it'll be like, oh shit, I've got a couple of days now without the pills. I'm going to be ahead in my prescription, technically, so that shouldn't happen with my glycoside, at least. Which is the more, apparently the more important one out of the two. Right, I'm just going to go and think Nemo. He's been waiting patiently, bless him. Sometimes he's like that, he can be really, really patient. And he'll just sit there. You don't want to look at that, do you? <laughs> I'm having to keep his food in the fridge at the minute because of these blasted flies. It's not so bad at this time in the evening when they've all fucked off, but that's why I actually like rainy days during summer because the flies fuck off. <laughs> in fact, I should probably stick one of those up. Not that that did much good last year either, so. I've got those a pound for is that a pound for a pack of six? I think. 
Yeah. Top this again. So we'll do the gorilla beat. Pathetic gorilla beat. No, I can hear a fly. Using that one, I've got one in my drawer. Now I've got a teaspoon. That will do. I've got kitchen utensils and whatnot in these drawers that I've never ever used. I've got a lot of people. To give the cat's dish a clean in the morning. That's the one cat food tin I do not want to drop. So I have gravy everywhere. He loves meaty chunks and gravy. He doesn't like the loaf stuff unless I really get in there and mush it up with a fork. And so that's why I always get chunks and gravy or chunks and jelly. And he actually seems to like the little brand. Koshida, that's from Lidl's. Uh, better than Sainsbury's own brand. Not their cheap, nasty, basic stuff. They're, you know, the sort of next version of their own brand up. I don't know why supermarkets over here do that. They do the really cheap version. Well, allegedly the really cheap version. Some items aren't really that cheap and basics. <laughs> There you go. Right, that's a lid that you're going to thin. You know what is really annoying about me and odd numbers? I always get four sausage rolls because I always find I'm still peckish after eating two. But I can never eat four and I always throw one in the bin. I always get four. I don't like odd numbers. I don't like getting three. Yeah, I'm going to have to get over that and stop that because that's just a waste. Mind you, those sausage rolls were on offer dirt cheap tonight. The best thing about going to the hot food counter in Sainsbury's is uh, later in the day because uh, everything goes on offer. And they usually knock everything down dirt cheap. What did that lot cost me for? It cost me £1.60. And because they're the, well, they call them large sausage rolls, jumbo sausage rolls, whatever you want to call them, um, are usually 90p each. That's £3.60, I believe that cost me. That cost me £1.60 tonight, so that's quite a saving. <sighs> right. I'm going to try and do Lego videos with this poxy camera now. Although, maybe tomorrow, when I, I remember what, rem there, I'll try again. When I can remember where I put my 4 gigabyte memory card, this is one of those Panasonics, I could put it in my red camera over there, because I've got all the AAAs charged up now. At last. Ah, we've got a... Oh, no. Duh. I thought a red LED had gone off, but the red LEDs are up that end, so, yeah, I've got the last two pairs. That, if there's a dodgy cell, the LEDs flash, I've found as well, so there's about a handful of AA batteries gone in the bin as well. But they were this brand. There's some blue ones and some yellow ones. They come out of some really, really old um, garden solar lights. I mean, they probably when so the um, garden solar lights were first invented, or first released, or whatever you want to call it. I got those years ago, and I've just been sitting around, so I'm not surprised they're no good. Those green ones, apparently charged. <laughs> apparently. But I've actually noticed, when you've got four batteries in there, that seems to take longer to charge them. I was only putting a, um, a pair of double A's in last night, because one of the terminals got a bit squished, and I didn't want to get in there with one of these in case while it was turned on in case I shorted something out so I did that this morning and uh, 
managed to charge up four double A's and that did take longer to charge them. But, uh, I do think Lidl's have still got some of these in at the moment. They get these are not in this colour. They've got them the green version of these ones again. I don't know if they're different. These are twenty five hundreds. I've got no idea what these ones are. Nine fifties. So I'm still not sure what I'm what I'd rather do. Would I do I get this working? You know, do I go um, go and get the videotape out of that cannon and put in this and use this? Only because it's got the flip-out screen. <laughs> That's the only reason I'd use this one, and not the cannon. I believe the tapes are exactly the same. You know, take the really dinky ones. I may uh, have to have a play tomorrow before I decide. Is this the one with the... Um, memory card in it. There's a little button and there is. Bling! Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. That one hasn't got it. Well, I think I paid about £10 for all four of these cameras. I can't remember. I know I did a video of them when I bought them home. It's a pity Mr. Biggles didn't find some more of these. What one did I put in here? Because this is that card adapter. Micro SD. That's the 2 gigabyte one. So I've got 4 gig one somewhere. It might still be in here. In this top section here. That's where I've put my micro SD card. Fucking rubber band. Piss off. What's this one? That's the 4 gigabyte one. How about that? First one. <laughs> I think that's the right way up. There we go. I'm trying to do all this with one hand. Right, close that. Bring this in. We'll see if it will uh, recognise. Let's use the two pinks and the red. I don't know if there was any specific reason they coloured them like that, or if they were just, you know felt like they'd do some funky colours. This goes in your bottom. I won't get a damn thing to go in. The only disadvantage with this one is the screen doesn't rotate. So when I point it at me like that, I still can't see where my face is. That's the only... Those are going to register that memory card. It should, because I believe that's the one I had in here before. Yep, that's perfectly fine with that one. So I might actually start using this one instead of this one. But for now, I'll use this one. But yeah, we'll prob this one will probably just stay as my spare. But like I said, I definitely want a new one, like much like my... um old Panasonic. Not necessarily Panasonic brand, I'm open to uh, suggestions maybe. Keeping in mind I'm on a very, very tight budget. I would say I could probably stretch to about £50 in UK money. At a stretch. But cheaper than that would be good. It's like that camera got a bid on by the way, the one I was watching. Which is a shame, because uh, I'd have liked to have bid on that. Has it ended? Just have a quick oh, fuck. Mouse slipped just as I clicked on the eBay link, so I went to my BT thing instead. Mind you, if I use these ones on VHS tapes, I don't need a SD card in it. I think it may have been that lamp still up there. <laughs> it's still there. Well, if it's ended, what did it end? How much did it end for? 51 quid. Ouch. Yeah, that would have gone way off of my um, budget anyway. <laughs> ah, I can D 
delete this. They're in the post. They're in the post. I've got another lamp in the post as well. It cost me eight pounds. Delete that for now as well. And that. There we go. I've got four of these. They actually flash blue. Right. Um. I'm still waiting on those circuits. Still got some feedback to leave. I think I'm going to call it quits for the night. I can't think of uh, anything to us. Well, anything I want to talk about. I've done a great deal today. Played around with that orange shopper. And then the uh, rear light on old grandpa, my blue rally. Um, decided to stop working. It seems like it blew the light bulb somehow. Well, I put a new bulb in and it worked. That's why I've got somewhere up here I've got that 6 volt battery. I was uh, checking bulbs before I went downstairs to make sure I took a good working bulb downstairs. We actually rode down to the um, pharmacy uh, on old grandpa. I'm going to call him grandpa. I don't know why. People name their cars. People name their trucks. I name my bikes. And I actually find it's a lot easier than saying the blue one or the black Claude Butler. Which I'm going to call Claudia. So if you hear me say Claudia, that's the black hybrid Claude Butler. Claude is my grey one. I haven't got one for the giant rock yet. The Rally Max green one I'll just call Max. <laughs> but, uh, yes. I just think that's a lot... What the fuck is Yahoo doing? Oh, I see. I thought Yahoo was having some sort of, uh, fit for a second there. <laughs> yeah. Lights are work. Oh, I did have to do a repair to the lights on the iron shopper. Um because I had to take the back wheel out to put the new tyre on, put the back wheel back in, did up the wheel mat and uh, split the wire in half that goes to the tail light, so I just put a bridge wire in it. It was a lot easier than um, ripping out the wire and putting in a new wire again, so I just bridged it. It works. Works looking great, actually. They're quite bright. Now the rear light is like the size of a little frickin' pea, or that's what it looks like, but it's quite bright, so... That's in the shed as well. Oh, that was the other thing, I've got to fix the shed door. Um, because it's on a runner, there's adjusters at the top, to adjust the height to stop it ra um, scraping on the floor. I'm thinking, or I'm hoping one of them has um, loosened off and just dropped um, one of the corners of the door down because it's scraping on the floor. Um, I'm hoping that's not um, the screws come out of the bracket. It shouldn't though. I put like four inch bloody screws in there to hold the brackets on because um, the door at the top is getting a little rotten. Although I did it over a year ago, I put those. Um, Four or five inch screws in. I know I picked some bloody great long ones to put in there. So I was pissed off with the screws pulling out. Um, so I'm hoping I've just got to get up there. I'll take a ladder down tomorrow and uh, I'll have to empty some bikes out of the shop. Shed, rather. Take my uh, adjustable work light, if I can find it. I do believe it's at the other end of the lounge. Yes, it is, actually. It's down by the PS2 games. So, uh, let me do that. It's got to be done, because it's just hard work at the moment, opening and closing that door. You know? I've got to pull it towards me, and then open it. Otherwise, you just get this... <coughs> every time you open and close the fucking door. And it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of friction. So yeah, I'm going to keep me occupied tomorrow. Mind you, it'd make it a bitch for anyone trying to break in, wouldn't it? They wouldn't open the door quietly, would they? 
You wouldn't think they target sheds that close to um, buildings, but they have done. In the seven years I've been here, my neighbour's had his shed broken into at least once. But he's only got a mortar slot on his, and they aren't really hard to break. <laughs> That's why uh, I'd have been more inclined to put a different lock on it. Anyway, I'm going to disappear, finish my drink, and whatnot, and uh, hopefully those batteries will charge before I go to bed, because I don't want to leave it plugged in all night. Although I presume when they're charged, the charger cuts off automatically. I don't know, I didn't get an instruction book with them. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.